Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Frey, or Free Darkness, and today I'm bringing you a 53 and 6 dual helo pilot gameplay. And, just for you guys, I started off right at the helo pilot part, because that's the good stuff. And, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, and uh, a Merry Christmas Eve as well. So I hope you guys are all with your families or loved ones, and spend a very happy, joyous holiday this week. And with that said, let's go ahead and move on to the actual topic, which I want to talk about is microtransactions or DLC for the Wii U, such as the PS4, the Xbox One, PC, 360, Xbox One, etc. So, as you may have heard, there's already been a microtransaction DLC released for consoles. At the moment, it's only for Xbox One and Xbox 360, and the reason for that being is simple. Activision and Microsoft have a contract, which actually recently ended, but they did it again, unfortunately, uh, where Xbox 360 and basically all Xbox products get DLC from Call of Duty one month in advance, or just get it first, and then, you know, all the other platforms get it second. Now, with the DLC that they recently released, it raises questions about their uh, procedures when doing this one month release and one month hold with DLC, because the DLC they released recently came out in December 12th and of course a month from now would be January 12th and this DLC is a festive customization pack which includes but not limited to a reticle site for your red dot sites and the like that resembles a snowflake as well as a camouflage that resembles Christmas like patterns such as Christmas sweaters and anyway moving on with the actual subject at hand of course, the festive camo pack that was released, it's, it's a bit weird if you think about it because it was in fact released uh, the second week of December and according to what they go by, it won't get released on PS3 or PS4 or maybe even Wii U until January 12th, which means the free DLC is going to be kind of, I mean it's, it's still free, it's something nice to have, but I still kind of see it as pointless. The DLC of the festive camouflage should obviously be used during the holidays at which point when it's released two weeks into January it won't really be celebrating anything besides the fact that you missed the whole holiday bugaloo that you wanted to partake in because of course you know they screwed you over with the whole one month thing uh, because they do in fact have this seasonal thing that they want to go ahead and start with releasing the camouflage that's festive yet all all the really cool holidays kind of already happened and of course if they do go by and the fact that they release them each a month later on PS4 and PS3 all the holiday customization packs that get released are gonna be pretty useless on every single console except for the Microsoft owned consoles so that's pretty silly and with that said they also released another DLC by the way I uh, first feel the need to mention that this DLC, uh, the Festive Customization Pack, is only available for PC, Xbox One and Xbox 360. The PC doesn't actually show up, because it says available on uh, 360 and Xbox One, and then it says uh, for other platforms to be announced. Yet when you put the drop-down list that's uh, on the Call of Duty Ghosts website, it shows PC clearly right there. So that's a bit interesting. Anyways, moving on to the other DLC item that they released. This one's a tad more cool. It's a wolf DLC, which replaces your canine companion with a bloodthirsty wolf. And of course, this is just another reskin. And interesting enough, interestingly enough, this doesn't show up as a PC download, but it is for Xbox 360 and Xbox One, and of course, to be announced for the rest of the platforms. This is a DLC I wouldn't mind paying for because it's awesome. Everyone loves Riley. But wolves are just too badass to not have. As we all know, probably if we played the campaign actually, wolves do make uh, an appearance in the game and Riley actually saves your butt from a wolf and gets hurt and we all we all cried at that moment I think. And of course the wolves already exist, it's basically just a reskin of the dog. And in fact all the camels are basically just reskins. So. I understand completely that we on Nintendo consoles, on the Wii U particularly, don't receive maps because there's not a lot of people playing and with 
the addition of new maps. Some people would be playing on these new maps, barely finding any peop uh, any servers to play on. Whereas, you know, people without the content would be just connecting to regular people without the content. Or would miss opportunities to connect with other people because they in fact have the DLC. And they don't. And, of course, we on Wii U consoles know how hard it is to find games. I mean, some say it's not very hard. That's because you only play Domination and Team Deathmatch. All the rest of the modes are really hard to find. Hell, I'm actually having trouble finding Domination matches at some point in the day. So it's a, it's a bad time to be on the Wii U. But, with that said, of course, maps would be a difficult choice for anyone to make, you know, treat us equally, give us maps like that, that'd be great. We'd be willing to pay for it. Of course, it will separate us from other people. However, reskins such as your dog transforming into a wolf or camouflages that we can buy and use on our guns, that thing's been around since Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, which we didn't get any DLC for, including the camo packs. Why? Well, I have no idea, because the camo wouldn't obviously affect anyone in the game. It wouldn't make people not be able to connect, which is a huge problem on Wii U. <clears throat> um, so, why did they not give us this? It could have made us some easy profit. And, profit, and uh, I personally know some things about game development, and I know that reskinning things, especially since they've already been reskinned, porting it over to another console wouldn't be very difficult. Yet, they don't do it. They could make easy money for little to no effort, and nothing. It doesn't get ported over. Will it get ported over with this game? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but with recent history, especially since Infinity War doesn't even have their own developers working on this console, Treyarch has their own team that develops Wii consoles, uh, specific ports for both uh, Activision, or for both Treyarch and Infinity War. And of course, after a certain point, they stop working on the Wii U version and start uh, porting the other Call of Duty game that's going to be out. So of course, with the lack of support, Will there be any DLCs such as microtransaction items that won't affect us in any other way besides just being aesthetically pleasing? Who knows? It certainly doesn't look like it, but if you were to ask me, I'd say no. I'd love to be proven wrong, but that's just uh, how it looks at the moment. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. Trinity rocket inbound. Friendly set.